using an Ouija board dangerous? I don't know if dangerous is the word to use here, but I do believe that those who are going into using an Ouija board or conducting a seance should practice extreme caution. Those of you that don't know what an Ouija board is, an Ouija board is a type of divination tool that has been around for centuries and the earliest, I believe, the earliest times of this type of divination being used was back as far back as a dynasty within China uh, in the 1100s. So I believe it's been around a long time in many different cultures um, throughout the ages. The whole purpose of the Ouija is to communicate with the dead or to communicate with the spiritual world to retrieve information about things that obviously in physical life not everyone can answer or find the answers to. The Ouija was used, it was extremely popular um, around, was it World War I? I'm not sure if it was the first war or the second um, in America and they would use it to connect with um, soldiers and people that that died on the battlefield and especially the loved ones the family that were left behind they wanted to communicate with them so it was used for that and that's when I think the board became patented in America and it just blew up so the Ouija blew up everyone had an Ouija board people were doing seances so that's initially how the Ouija came about um, at least in modern day world terms. It's also used, you know, if you've had a drunken night out and you think, oh, let's have some fun, let's use the Ouija board and see who we can summon to our circle. I, I would never suggest to use an Ouija board for that because what's ultimately happening when you use an Ouija is that you are creating a circle and creating a vortex inviting in spirits from the spirit world and you don't know who you're bringing in so unless you are a clairvoyant unless you are a psychic and and someone that can see entities it's very hard to know who's coming into the circle who's sitting around you who's who's playing with you in the circle. So unless you have some kind of psychic ability, um, it's very hard to discern who is joining you um, in your circle from the spirit world. In the spirit world, there are entities that are happy, that are sad, they're mean, there's some that are nasty and very dark, there are some that are jokers, and they're deceivers, they're very, you know, lots of jesting um, energy so just like we have here on earth it's mimicked in the spirit world there's all types of entities and although I don't believe in the devil or demons I do know that there is dark energy and they can take any kind of form and any kind of disguise looking like they are some kind of demonic entity using an Ouija board should be used with a lot of caution, a lot of respect, and you're going in with high intentions, pure intentions, not for messing around with or playing about, because that's when the problems start. That's when the problems will start, and that's when you will start to attract energies that are not so um, friendly. So, because they're there. And one of those laws of physics, like attracts like, if you're approaching a seance, if you're conducting a seance without the, the proper um, introduction and the proper opening of a circle, setting the proper intent, you're basically setting yourselves up for all types of energies to come through and I would not recommend that. So if you are, however, going in with high intentions, then yes, you should be okay. Everything should be fine. A Ouija board is obviously propagated in Hollywood and all these scary things of people becoming possessed by entities. That is real and that, that, is, that can absolutely happen because if you go in not knowing what you're doing, 
You know, it's like jumping into a car the first time um, without being shown what to do. Like, you, you've got to know what you're doing when you're approaching an Ouija board. So if you're not prepared or if you are someone that's in the circle that's a, a little weak, you know, you're not so strong spiritually or you have um, issues within yourself, if you're not in a good frame of mind, do not use an Ouija board because the weaker energies in the circle become targets and uh, the spirits coming into the circle um, can manipulate those people, people that are weak or the submissive, um, people that are real sponges and they don't know how to protect themselves. They become targets. I would never suggest someone that is in that frame of mind to ever use an Ouija board because you're asking for trouble. And another thing is, is that if things do happen in a circle and you know it's not anyone in the circle, people freak out. People get scared when they see spiritual energy at work. People freak out and they close the board and they don't close the circle and that is a big mistake. You must know how to close a circle because if you don't close the circle, those energies that you have summoned in are most likely to stay wherever you have brought them in or they can latch on to you um, and go with you and causing all sorts of things to, to happen in your life and you don't want to do that. A Ouija is not a game, it's a divination tool. People view it as a, a joking thing to do and to play around with, but it is absolutely not. So from a clairvoyance perspective, someone that is psychic and someone that can see energies, I would not suggest using one unless you know what you're doing. I don't use a Ouija so much because obviously I don't feel like I need to. I have used one back a few years ago in the Middle East and we ended up contacting an entity that had latched onto my girlfriend. My girlfriend was having a lot of issues at the time, spiritually speaking and health-wise, you know, she just wasn't herself. And we found that there was an entity around her, a Moroccan uh, man called Zatar. And so Zatar was from Morocco or the Maghreb and he died in the 1940s. He was beaten to death because of a, a botched um, bartering deal, something to do with um, he owing someone something and he got beaten. He was absolutely in love with my girlfriend and said he would never leave her, but um, psychically speaking, I don't see him on her anymore. I see he has gone. Coming back to, are Ouija's dangerous? I wouldn't say they're dangerous, but I would say that they are absolutely not a game to play on a night where you feel like you want to have a bit of excitement and fun. I would say you should approach an Ouija board with the highest respect and know exactly what you're doing and go in with pure intentions, not to play around, but to gather information and to do it with more than one person because you can conduct an Ouija on your own, but it usually is much better when there are several people involved because the spiritual entity can use your energy to convey the information. Sometimes I will say though that entities do not need your energy because they are very strong on their own and that's where poltergeist activity comes in. So there is all types of energy. It's not all dark and scary. There is a lot of good energy as well. But I would say approach a Ouija board or a seance with respect, with proper intention and know what you're doing and you should be fine. Until next time, happy times with your Ouija board. Love you.